and Kia's new vehicle in the Let's go. 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 Let's go.
52. But if you have any character on your account that has gotten any of the, the levels of legendary perk stuff, all of your characters can do it. So since since my main has already got above level 300, this new character that I main automatically has access to... Oh, I guess we already talked about that. Yeah, so I automatically got access to all this stuffy stuff. Um, so did I clear out my stuff? I am actually going to be switching to a commando build. I thought I'd just go with what I know. Go with what I know and um, play commando. I'm here solo. How's my hit? 100 today? It's not much, but I'm pumped. Finally get there. Nice. Yeah, 100, you unlocked another second slot on the Legendary Perk cards. Unless I'm crazy, you get the first one at level 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, and 300? Is it every 50 levels? I think. So, follow through. So my goal that today, if I can get enough things, is to get this maxed out so I can have I'll have 20 intelligence. So I got all, every point in intelligence already. I'm gonna keep it at the 15 plus the five in there. So up until I'll, I'll keep it all in there, maybe until a little, I don't know, 300 or something. I'm just really gonna focus on experience to start. So we got our class freak. And we got our starch jeans. With that, I went ahead and uh, we're just going to pretend that I bought these level vendor, even though I gave them to myself. I'm going to be, I'm going to do the adrenaline reaction later. Wait until I actually go bloodied. I'll come down the road, so I'll put that away. But I did the the, the basic. I'm not, I didn't do a carnivore or reward yet, but. The bare essentials, in my opinion, mutations, I'm going to go ahead and pop. And in my opinion, uh, dun -dun 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 -dun, bird bones is goes in hand with marsupial. That is going to enable you to jump higher. And bird bones, you can tell that I'm falling slow. If you don't have bird bones, just jump up high and then you'll drop like a rock and you'll, you'll get stunned. It's like jumping off this. You know, once you land, you'll get that ping chong chong thing where you, uh, you can't move for a second. So definitely do them together. Other than that, eagle eyes. I'm a bats build, so. And I don't really mind the strength being lowered. So I'm going to get better bats. Egghead is going to give me um, six intelligence when I'm in a group. So that one and the herd mentality are basically... From now on, I basically have to be in a team. Even if I'm in a team all by myself, I'm a rock and roll. And I really like my AP up. So I'm always going to be focused on keeping my keeping my health up. So this, when I'm out of combat, my health will just auto-regenerate. I have to take a little bit more stuff and stuff. More food often. But Speed Demon, you can really tell it. it you can really tell the increase when you've been using it a lot. It's kind of hard to tell. And I'm kind of walking slow, but with the speed demon on, you just, you go a little bit faster. I don't know what percentage it is, 5 or 10%. It's noticeable, though. Yeah, 50, 75, 100, 150, 200, 300. I think something like that sounds about right. What's up, Matt? Do, 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 do. That 300 is gonna kill me. It's, it goes quicker than. It's not too too bad. I've been playing. I've been only been playing since day one. Nice. Just hit 100. Okay. Well, that that's a little bit of a while. A level every three months, <laughs> whatever it is. Hit up double XP in a weekend. Yeah. I've seen people go from level two to level thousand in in a weekend on a double XP weekend. All right. Okay, join every eviction notice, radiation rumble, radiation rumble for sure, moonshine. 
just join a team, kind of put your place yourself, self centralized in a moonshine or radiation rumble, and you'll share whatever experience or what I think it's like 30 or 33 percent of whatever your teammates are do. Cook over inners that'll gain them some experience, and they can also sell stuff to vendors, sure. Now I've finished the main quest on this new character, it'll be easier because I can go for XP. Not strong. yeah, yeah, of course. You can tell when it's gone. Yeah, 20%. I don't know how fast it is. It's it's noticeable though. Felt like I was slugging through through um molasses when I was headed off on this dude. Hey, how do I get the the other survival tent? Variant you have to get them from Adam Shop or from scoreboard rewards. But if you have them already, to get them, you're gonna go into uh up here and you go to fall at first. And you'll scroll down to your tents, and then you can... Oh, not these guys. You'll be able to cycle through them. And if you know them on one of your guys, you know them on all of them. Like, here's the APC, the all the different types. And you just select the ones that you want. Uh, like, let's say, like, this one's got a weapon bench. And if I wanted, like, a tinkerer bench somewhere, I can switch over to the tinkerer bench one. Um, I forget which one this one has in it. Uh, this one's got a uh, armor bench, I believe. Don't know what the flatbed one. But you got little choices of different benches. But this one has a bench. I believe this one has a bench. This has a bench. This has a bench. APC does. I think it might be a tinkerer's bench. Um, anyway. I thought the speed boost was 20% because, uh, squad maneuvers, cards, Lucius. Yeah, uh, speed, the speed demon will make some other, other perks. Like, it makes the fixer a little bonus speed thing uh, useless. All my plans pretty much came from you. For that, whoop. That, whoop. Uh, I guess I'll do daily ops again. Hello, neon sign number four. Alright. So, anywho, um, I had a lunchbox today. I'm going to be popping lunchboxes, and I'm going to be really trying to grind some experience today. But one thing I am going to do, I'm going to set up my base. I'm going to go really, really bare bones. Um, start here. If anyone doesn't know, you can click on your pit boy. A little option down here. I don't, I don't know what the button is for keyboard, but for map. It's C here. And essentially what you want to do, if you can see the circle, you want to make your area... Depending on how close you are to existing structures, the train station it won't let me use that thing. But what I do with all my bases, I get it right up. I try to make that circle kind of right by the... You can kind of see up top where that circle's interacting with the top of the building. I try to make it line up kind of with a door. But I've always just used kind of this, this marker as a marker so that I know that my bases are exactly on top of each other. So you kind of place it here. Make sure I'm kind of facing directly north, or not up or wherever I am from here. Get as close as possible. Click. Now I can get my base almost touching up here. And I'm not going to go into massive detail on this on this playthrough. I'm just going to move my base over from the other place. You cl can click B to do the camera view, which is actually really cool. So for right now. You can move your mouse up and down. I'm just going to place it kind of right here. Oh, that's too high. Right there. Quick and easy. You put a uh, little... Just random stuff in here. Stash box. Popcorn machine. We like that. Definitely want our stuff and stuff. Again, I'm not trying to make it pretty right now. I'm just trying to get everything out. Uh, we do like wood. We like water. We don't really need a punch card machines since there's one right there. It's, it's, it's nice to have just kind of there. Right, we're going to have a little scrappy boxy. We're going to make this really ugly just to get it out. MC Cooter, thank you for the joining teamwork. Uh, in the community page on the thing, 
Um, actually, there's everyone should do this too. I'm gonna post it to everybody. Uh, come on, Mel, where are you? There you are. Yeah, under the community page, there's a link where you can go through Discord. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna link Discord to YouTube, and then you go into YouTube and link link YouTube to Discord. Um, and it makes it so you automatically get the um, the bonus little section in the Discord, the hidden member section and stuff. Um, and whatever little features, thingy thingy. This thing will explain it all. But yeah, right here. Um, but yeah, pop that in there and you'll get automatically uh, tagged in the stuff MC. Now, I still haven't figured out how to make the, the member-only streams... Uh, tag in there like the normal ones do um, but yeah this is it's really simple it's you just go into there you go in your connection and say hey like YouTube and then go over to YouTube and say hey like discord anyway um click 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 all right we got our cooking thing there get a little power for some popcorn all right it's ugly it's out there but it's a base we got everything we need we got some copy we got some food Get our scrappy dappy stuff and we and I am gonna be using uh fallout first features for the rest of the playthroughs and stuff. So I will have my ammo box. Get rid of the actually I'm gonna I'm gonna keep random ammo on me because I don't know what guns. I'm not gonna give myself weapons or ar armor or stuff yet. Uh maybe later. So I'm gonna stick with some ugly stuff. So we are missing one right leg that is kind of by a menu eight months so it might show me drop oh that's yeah, that's totally fine um do, do, do. actually it's also another tip it's much easier to look at your gear instead of clicking the inspect every single time on each little piece of gear if you just go up to any container you just click on a container you can go from here and this way you can just hover over here and see the stats in the middle um and Click over a new to see everything that you just looted. That's just a little quick thing to get used to doing. Uh, but anyhow, uh, we got a really bad chest, but it's a chest. Uh, level 45. Everything's max level, at least, now. We got a left leg, right arm, and we need a uh, right leg. So that's kind of our little side goal today. Um, but hopefully, we're going to go and try to do an eviction notice. Uh, actually, we're gonna, let's go ahead and go to... Public world. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to solo eviction notice on my level 50, dude. Uh, so we're going to do some twofer action here. And if I can squeeze out a really good eviction notice on my dude. Um, that would be really cool. So I'll probably completely get every upgrade to every possible thing during that raid, which would be amazing. All right. So let's get on to multiple worlds here. All right. Do, 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 do. Got me 2,000 maps. Yeah, I like I like just watching turn on a TV show. Kind of something to pass the time and just rock out some maps. You get a bunch of stuff. Yeah, everyone, uh, while this Fallout First Trial is going, definitely suggest you do as many maps, treasure maps as you can, and whatever you can, just a jam-pack full uh, bunch of stuff to fill up. Because you will be able to access your your scrap bench and your ammo container after the, tri the, en the trial ends. You'll be able to take stuff out, you just won't be able to put stuff in. All right, on. I do have a video up on my page showing what I got from doing 10,000 maps, and it is shocking how much stuff you can get from them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, glue is pretty crazy. Yeah, 10,000 maps, which cost me 10,000 caps off someone's vendor. 10,000 caps, I got like 350,000 steel, 12,000 stem packs, like 10,000 plans. Uh, some of them were sell for a good amount, but imagine if you even sold each of those plans for five caps. That's just bonkers. So much money can be made from treasure maps. It is work, though. You're not going to go do 10,000 or 2,000 treasure maps in like 
20 minutes. It's going to take a while. But anywho. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, I'm going to go sleep in the bed. Oh, I missed having marsupial. I still only spend my 4,000 map. Yeah. That's a lot of steel. And I do suggest you guys... If you guys team up together, and you're in a team, and you're all, like, huddled around the thing, every time you do a treasure map, everyone else in the team gets a little bit of caps, some aid, some weapons. So if you had 4,000 treasure maps, and you put 1,000 on each each four of you, you get way more stuff than just one person doing 4,000. 100,000 steel an hour? I felt like I did it for, like, eight hours. I mean, I watched seven episodes of the Fallout show to do those 10,000 maps. Granted, I was I taking the taking little breaks to scrap on each each of the four dudes. All right, let's rock and roll here. We got what? One minute kill. All right, do I have any food? Oh, I think I forgot to get food and stuff. Oh, right, we got popcorn. What do we got for drinks? Company tea. AC. Oh, yeah, we got meat stew. We like the little 5% experience. I forgot to get water. That's good enough. All right. Um, 30 seconds ish, maybe. Oh, give me a jetpack. Hey guys, somebody get me a uh, thingy. Got four possible servers I'm on. Four shots at getting a uh, fiction notice on the hour. Right, line in the sand, test your metal. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let's go. I'm going to be of no help during this event but that is fine don't don't feel intimidated oh no no go to the private world go to there you go don't feel intimidated going to an event if you're low don't think that you're not helping just go there kind of get make sure you're getting a team it seems like one person's really doing all the work getting their team and just hang out near it close to them and close enough where you can get the experience of what they're doing they won't mind if you're not like jumping up in, in their face and distracting them, no one's gonna care. Do, 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 do. Okay, so nothing on those servers. Click, 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 click. What do you got? Load bearing? No. Alright, let's hope we can get an eviction notice in the next four minutes, or else we're gonna have to find another server. Uh, 300,000 cranberry bugs. So, steel. If I got 300,000, 350,000 from 10,000, so times that by 30. It's a lot of steel. Do, 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 do. Hey, random weapons dropping on the ground. Dropping any god rolls? Or... All right. Boom, I got one. All right, let's go. All right, where are you? Oh, that's right. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. I hate how that little map thing does that. Oh, I didn't get any there. Now, hurry. Destroy the meat bags when you get here. I should drive them away if they come back. There's a machine with a crazy. Do, 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 do. No! The freaking man. The freaking friends list thing keeps switching at the very last second. So I go to click and then click, and the next thing I know, I'm clicking on the wrong person. Alright. This might be rough. There's nobody here. I think we're gonna fail unless some big dogs come in here and help. 
Actually, I guarantee it. Um, uh, well. So. That's the bad thing about being... Having nobody there. The server's got... It's a full server. And everyone's low level. Oh, yeah. This, I'm not going to be able to do it on this server. Uh, entire server of new people. Cool. Yeah. So, let's go find a different server. Quack, 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 quack. That's fine, though. And just so you know, if you are a low-level person, you're joining Event Like Eviction Notice, don't go down there and start it. Just wait for... If you can't solo an event, don't start it, basically. You don't want to... I think I'm... Okay. I think I'm just going to go with any event we can get into for now. Got a load bearing over there. We're going to do double load. That's fine. Yeah, because there's times where it'll be on the minute. You know, the eviction notice will pop up, and I go to I'll go to fast travel, and the game's being a little laggy, so it takes a minute to get there. And by the time I get there, there's only like 20 seconds left to do the thing, and there's some little level 15 dude running around down there, just kind of went and started it and triggered it, and then didn't, didn't do anything. <laughs> what do we got in the server? Uranium fever. We're gonna go over. You've got four minutes. You've got. All right, we're gonna go to Mr. Moore. All right. Go to Mr. Moore. You want to redo your mutations? You know how to do that, right? Take off the starch genes and. Take off stretch jeans, basically just go stand on a rad scrubber for a minute or whatever it takes. Pretty simple. Click, 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 all day long. Alright. So in this one, anyone, this, this is an event you technically don't even need to go inside for. This is the only event that I know of that cannot fail. If you, if somebody clicks the button to start it, it will just finish on its own. The only reason to come in here is to mine ore. And there's ore all on the wall here. It's like aluminum ore. Lots of copper ore typically in here. <laughs> and uh, if you keep the three robots alive, you get more of those claim tokens. And the claim tokens are kind of junk. You know, if you turn in the max turn in, you get like something. They're really heavy. A lot of people just throw them out on the ground. Anywho. We're gonna see if we can squeeze in a double dip on that dude. Otherwise, let's go shoot some stuff. Oh yeah, I am not automatic yet. Oh I, yeah, I made the decided to get rid of all my level 30 weapons and stuff for the level. I'm using a doctor's order from. Eviction notice, and if you guys don't know, it is not a good gun. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna join over there, we're gonna click over here. Uh, even the ones I don't need. Yeah, it, sometimes before you get access to the starch genes mutation, you'll get you'll get a mutation that affects you like nothing you have. So as soon as you have access to starch genes, go, you can go get rid of all your stuff and do them properly. So you won't get new ones and you won't you can get the other ones. And then, uh, I'm already in an event now. Uh, 
five minutes left. You know what? It's actually not a bad idea. I'll see if I can get in there. If not, I can always just come back. Do 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 do. Can I make it in time? System system failure detected. All of this off because you must read your grand procedures. Error. Order failure detected. System system failure failure. Donut team. Got some of this here. Oh. Alright, so if anyone isn't very familiar with eviction notice, um, it's kind of hard to see from here, but imagine there's a big circle around the rad scrubber, like there's an invisible line kind of right here. It kind of goes up right around there. And if you go up here when the rad, rad thing breaks, like right here, I'd get all the radiation. But if you, there's kind of like a little safe area. If you hang out there, you don't got to worry about getting uh, getting eat up. I'm going to be no help in this thing. I'd like to say I got that kill shot, but I totally did not. I need an alien blaster? I can make you one. Sneak my dudes into a double dip territory over yonder. There we go. You guys got in double dip area. Okay, there we go. Other net. Just be aware if you keep your eye on the scrubber. If you, this is definitely in the rad area, and this is like the safe spot. You see me up, over here on my normal guy. Um, that's why. If I had an explosive weapon, I can at least tag some stuff. But I don't. All I got is this dude. Actually, this one might even be easier to tag stuff with. There we go. Let's go loot real quick. I don't think I was even here for one wave. I got something. Yeah, I got some stuff. Oh, I got some free legendaries that dropped on the ground. You raised, the, you raised the price on my elders, Mark, and I sold two of them for 10000 each. Thanks for the advice. Uh, remind me of the rolls. You didn't you didn't have the ones that, I t that were, like, crazy too low, were you? That were worth, like, a million, and you had them up for 5000 So if that was you, you should have you could have raised them a lot more. You have to remind me of the rolls.
See if we can sneak in and get a double dip. Maybe. Server's not full. Ah, oh, server's full. See if we can bounce around. Maybe get lucky and there'll still be some event going on. I got you for pricing. Yeah, Abraman, I forget what it posted. Something like a near god roll. I don't re recall though. All right, I have zero people watching on Twitch. No, I have one person watching on Twitch. No, nobody. Hello. That's fine. Um, da -da 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 -da. Let me sneak into something, something. Hey, we got some people doing this event. Might as well. Um. Uh, no, those are mine. I sold an anti armor and a bloodied. Were they one st one star or something? I think they were like awesome, like really expensive ones. Bah, 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 bah. You guys are done. Forty eight seconds. All right, so we're gonna pop back over to private. Let me mess around in private for a while. I did it. Dun dun. Uh, got how to close the game. That's how to close the game. There we go. There we go, little dragon. There you go, Mandalorian. I'm lurking. Starting out my power armors and see what sets I can put together. Right on. Welcome back, man, Lauren. Been a while. Nice seeing you pop in there on on Discord. Wee 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 wee. All right. A few double dips out of that. That's nice. Uh, I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick while that's loading. Let's get a team going so we can share some, get some experience buffs going. And I'm going to mess around with the little guns I just got. I think I got a Gatling Plasma, which might be a little fun to mess around with. Um, do -do 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 -do. I'm try to squeeze in <clears throat> mutated event every hour. Other than I'm going to mess around and do some starting quests and and go and see the fun game we got. Of the devil, I did know that your stream. Oh, yeah, I was just actually just clicked through responding. You're been asking if I still play the game. I do every day. Not allowing the private, but click, click. And to answer your other question, I don't have any room for caps at all. I don't, I don't really buy or sell anything anymore. Can't even sell junk to the vendor to get my 1400 caps on my office anymore. No room. All right, so let's see what we got going for our starter quests. Which, um, I think we're gonna stick with the 
what are we doing here? Yeah, we're gonna do the one to get all of the yeah the overseers thing. We're gonna follow that journey so that we can get a bunch of a bunch of stuff unlocked on the the map and stuff. Right. We're gonna go ahead and skip the thing. Oh, I didn't didn't know uh, that you're streaming. Oh yeah, rock and roll. Yeah, I think if you click on my name in Discord, um, it pop, there's like a link right to what I'm streaming. Sometimes it does Twitch, sometimes it does YouTube. I don't I don't know why. Anywho, so we are gonna follow the Overseer's journey, and it does not let me. It's got an Appalachia, so this doesn't tell me. Oh, I think I just gotta. It's one of these things. Listen to the over broadcast on the radio. Oh, okay. Actually, I think I have the pit voice settings. Oh, we're gonna adjust the music down a little bit. Do the pit boy a little bit up so we can hear. And I think we're gonna be good. World radios. Alright, so let's rock and roll. I haven't done this quest since the game came out. I click on radio. You can also click O on your keyboard. Or I'm not sure what the button is. You can either get to it from your pit boy and tab over, click O. Jay's gonna do your quest log. Hey's gonna do your stats. And I will do your inventory. You guys didn't know. Alright, so we're gonna listen to the overseers. Broadcasting to the people of Vault 7 Six. This is the overseer. We need to talk. talk. Say say say. I've missed all of you, but this isn't just, just about, about a week. We, we have work to do. I'll be I'll waiting. Wait. Go into certain. We will be utilizing our mules. Since carrying heavy stuff around all day. If I do happen to get lucky in, in between the hours, if there's enough people on that want to come help, we can do eviction notices if they do pop up. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, bloody wrench. I'm going to mess around with that. I think we're just going to instigate. Da -da 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 -da. We're not going to hold that around. We're not going to hold that around. We mess around with these for a little bit. Let's go. Going to get ready. So yeah, if I do call out, let's let's see how many people are even on. Um, yeah, we're going to have people if they came to help. I, I won't be any help really at all for an eviction notice. If you guys can come, that'd be sweet. So we got a Gatling Plasma. I think we're gonna we're gonna play around with this for today a little bit. Hope you guys will return to work on the Fallout 4 multiplayer mod. Yeah, yeah. On the 25th, there's gonna be that update. I believe it's the 25th. And uh that'll be cool. I will be definitely doing some Fallout 4 streams. I kind of the weekly streams I was doing for Fallout 4 kind of stopped. All of a sudden, I completely forgot, I forgot about them. But after this mutated week and after the big grapple barrage I'm going to be doing on Market 76 and on our Discord, I'm going to be probably spending a lot of time on that because I think the PTS next update is going to be like Fashion Act that they're testing, which I don't really, I don't think I'm going to care about. I mean, from here, let's get rid of some extra stuff. Before you go out on an adventure, make sure you're getting rid of any possible weight that you have. Just in case you get cool stuff. I mean, I have 120 space, but there's probably some stuff I'm not going to be using. You never know. Actually, we look pretty, we look pretty okay. I'll get rid of that, cause just only because it weighs so much. Alright, anyway, let's go check out the Overseer. I was lots of nukes last night for the new players. Nice. Do do do. It'll be uh, probably quite a few live streams on this character before I'm doing anything nuke related. Hey, buggy game. There you go. And depending on what the daily is, this is actually a really good place. Certain dailies, 
there I've had days where I've been able to complete three dailies getting collecting stuff that are just inside here. Um, oh, pumpkin pie you. daily. You get one, two, just one in there. Anyway. This was not in the game when I first started. All right. What's up, dude? You got some nice components. Hey, I needed that. Thanks. Look at the devil. I haven't even looked to see what the dailies were today. We're just going to go loot the whole house. Why not? Let me introduce you to Davenport. He's been, He's been helping me with some reconnaissance. Keeping an eye on the Appalachian. Oh, so good so to, to meet you. Overseer, oh, I'm so, so excited to see everyone again. Once you've, Once you've acquainted yourself with our new arrivals, I may have some field work for you. I couldn't have pulled this place off without him. Let's talk. It's good, it's good, to, good to see you, but we, but we need to focus on the inoculation. Is it, is it done? All right. Yes, inoculation is done. Do 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 do. Everything I have to believe in the wall has been insane. I know. I know. Yeah. Believe, believe you. I know. I know. But, but we can't, we can't focus, focus on what other, other people could have done. We have, we to, have focus to focus on us. On us. I can on complain. That's what we do. We're Fallout 76 players. We complain. Don't start making demands. Do I want to be a jerk? Uh, no, let's not be a jerk. All right. I think we know what she's done. Because we're gonna need a lot more Audio is echoing again. All right. Have you been to the mountains lately? It's not, it's not just, just us anymore. Let me turn People from outside of the latch are coming in. I snuck around two of the larger roots and saw them both building. Oh. Walls, housing, the places. That's the drawback of using a mic plus the speakers and a... My mic doesn't have a... Cancellation stuff. They don't even know about. Is that better with the echo? I'll make contact with the newcomers. All right, let's go. I knew I knew I could count them. I'll work, I'll work on finding a way to make enough of the inoculation for everyone. One of the drawbacks is not, not using headphones. Judging by the All right. the ones to the north of the old radio tower. Crazy robot Rose keeps going on. What's up, TC? Need to need to talk to her about. How's it going? If you guys like PvP content, you can click on TC Proper 10 and go to their channel, give them some love. They have Fallout 76 PvP videos and stuff. Do do do. Yeah, count me in. Let's go. It's good to, good to have my golf family around again. Anyway, anyway I'm sure you must have other questions. We can, we can talk about them now if, or or if you're, ready you're ready to head out. Just be careful. I think we're ready to go. You don't have a daily yet for me, do you? Okay. So on this playthrough, I am not going to utilize... Like I could have my alt go there. I, I'm going to actually be walking across the map and as I'm going I'm going to try to get some get some of these fast travel points as I go so it looks like I'm probably going to go around this way we're going to make our little trudge over there it's kind of one of the benefits of starting a new character is there's little spots and areas in the game that I haven't seen since basically doing the same thing with my new new guy what's up bump Apes, Jim? how are you doing this... hopefully you had a good Good walk yesterday. <laughs> we were cold here in the 30s. And I'm freezing in here. I actually had to put on a sweater yesterday. Realized <laughs> we mistakenly thought the winter was over. So we turned off the heater in the house. <laughs> and it dropped down to like 30 something yesterday. So we were chilly. Anywho. 
Um, I'm not going to do that quest now. So we're going to get that off of our, our log here. Signal strength. We're not going to worry about that one yet. Do, 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 do. So we're just going to, we're going to focus on these. I don't need that one on my log. Oh, I don't think it does it. Doesn't matter thing anyway. How cold is it there? It was snowing for me yesterday. Yeah, if it would have been raining, it would have snowed yesterday. Oh, it feels much nicer now. I didn't have a gust of wind coming outside. Also, for new players, especially early on, make sure, along with resting in a bed every hour, it's really good to play instruments, which is going to give you, I believe, 25% uh, AP regeneration. Which is really great, but since you don't have any gears or perk cards or stats or anything, having that, especially when you're trying to sprint around and trying to walk around, it's very helpful. So you do it for about 30 seconds to a minute. I don't know the exact time, but you'll get the buff. And if you do play on PC, there's cool mods that make the sound go away. Some of the instruments are really annoying. Anywho, so we're going to be making our trudge up this way. We're going to kind of make a little marker to kind of find us where we're going and one of my alts has a marker on anyway you can see in the distance there's little grayed out buildings we're going to kind of make our way towards those get those along the way it's always that big first trudge across the map that takes the longest but it's kind of nice it's actually a really pretty area I don't think I've been on this hill in five years. We're going to go make our way over here to Helvetia. We'll, we'll be spending every day here not not too long with another batch of Fashnack coming. There are some dudes here, a bunch of them actually. Let's see if we can get them to not kill us or chase us down too long. Make our way up to the little wolf. Wolf picture up there. Major douche on Twitch. Thank you for hanging out up there too. I have enabled closed captioning on the YouTube stream, which adds even more of a delay. Um, if you guys were coming to play if you guys were joining my server for any event, um, if you are watching on Twitch, it's it's almost real time. Do you suggest that? Otherwise, I believe the the delay is up to about twenty seconds in game from what you're seeing and what's what's really happening. Do do do. All right, which location am I kind of? I want to sneak down there. Yeah, I want to sneak down here because we're going. We're going a long way around here. For you, those of you who haven't played any Fallout games before, typically it's safer to go along the roads. You're gonna encounter less wild wild animals, but if you do go along the roads, there's like random random encounter type situations where there'll be a dude just kind of hanging out on the road. You know, get some raiders trying to break into a safe or stuff like that. I really went the long way to come back over here, didn't I? That's fine. Do, 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 do. We're going to start waking our way towards Bolton Green. A bit confused. Yeah, there's no longer a scoreboard. There's like a season season pass or season board. Um, many people are not very happy with it. You know, I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal until I got to the end of it. After getting 100, best thing with the scoreboard is you got to 100 and you were done. You then you just got little extra rewards every level you got afterwards. But now you have to get to like level 140 or 150. I don't know the exact number to get everything on the scoreboard. It's kind of annoying. And you can only get you can only get the points with the uh, dailies afterwards. 
Oh yeah, that's Travis Gunn. Not too bad in that. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, I totally forgot to do that earlier today. Sorry, we have a squirrel we have to tend to. I got a nice gun that I found in my bags when I was doing script. I had to make sure that I go put it on my list. Uh, Gowing Plasma. Oh, I already had one. All right, now I got two. Boop. Okay. Sorry. Where are we going? Oh, we, we went totally the wrong way. That's fine. We'll just go straight. Looks like there's some other stuff we didn't discover in here. We got Big Al's Tattoo Parlor. You discovered or what? I forget if I have to go do the quests down in the frat house. Can I just start it now with this dude? Do you buy Adam points to finish the season pass? You can. You can spend Adam's. I think Angry Turtle on the first day just spent like the hundreds of bucks or whatever it was to finish everything off. Um, It would be expensive. Uh, But yeah, you can... You can if you want to do that, you can. I'm I'm personally leaning towards just I mean we're playing a game. I'm playing a game, so I'll play the game to get the stuff. I mean there's nothing really on the scoreboard or the season board. I don't even know what we're calling it anymore. Scoreboard? I'll probably still call it. I think everyone's gonna call it scoreboard for a while. I'll still do it. If there has to be if there happens to be something you know, on that last couple of days of the season where I really wanted to get that thing, I can spend some atoms to finish it off, but I, I think I've already gotten everything I wanted off of it anyway. Oh, speaking of the devil, I think I had a couple things on the season board I was going to wait and use on this dude. I think all the stuff with bullion and stuff my main can't even use. But we could figure that out later. Let's get our vault tech. There we go. What else is grayed out? We got a building over yonder. We'll get these two discovered. You do get a little bit of experience when you discover locations. So we might as well get it when it, that little bit helps when you're low. Oh, I missed having marsupial on this dude. Right. There we go. Yeah, back in nuclear winter. Uh, when it was here. I never PvP'd. Uh, one of the spawn locations was over here, and this is the bush. I'd get naked and I'd just hide in the bush. Because there would be those dailies where you had to, like, survive for 10 minutes. And I was, like, level 9 or whatever it was. So I'd just go hide in that bush right there. <laughs> um, da -da 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 -da. Let's keep on going. Keep on going towards north. Got a little something in the distance there we're going to go discover. How did you rank to 100? It's actually, it doesn't take that long. If you, you can get, um, what do you call them? You can use your your rerolls, and you can also get premium rerollers that now you, you can get with the scoreboard points. And every Tuesday, uh, the the weeklies get more. So I every Tuesday I'll use try to use all my rerollers on these. It's going from fourteen or thirteen hundred things to like six hundred, like three hundred more points. If you do it on the normal ones, you're going from like three hundred to like five hundred. It's only a hundred more. Um. But yeah, if you can re-roll them, you get a chance of getting an epic one. Like this one's epic. You get 2,000 points, so it's like, you know, almost 700 more points. When if one of these was epic, it'd only be like 100 more points. 
collect burnt textbooks, scrap headwear. I think all of these are gonna be super easy. Uh, dun, 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 dun. what do I want to do? Um, we'll re-roll. We'll re-roll these two. See if I can get an epic. Kill mole miner. Epic. All right. See, I got an epic. So it went from. Uh, so you got like a two hundred and. Was that 213 more points over there? When over here, it's like 700 more. So definitely use all your re-rollers on Tuesday. Uh, and that's a lot of points. And other than that, when you're below level 100 on the scoreboard, every 10,000 10,000 points, or 10,000 experience you get, you get 100 100 points for the scoreboard. There were people that got got to 100 in like the first few hours running West Tech. So it's pretty easy. I've been playing on my level 35 PvP tune lately. Uh, he uses Grounded and Carnivore. Yeah, there's kind of melee, melee uh, centric perks. Grounded uh, kills me. What does it do? Increases strength, but makes energy weapons less? I forget which one. Any melee, melee centric perks I've never used, so I don't really know much about them. They're pretty pretty buff though. Those are the type of perks that if you accidentally get them without start genes on your on your Vats build or you know your gun build, you, you're gonna have to go and remove them one at a time and get hopefully get lucky and remove the one you don't want first. But typically it always seems that I'll remove the one that I wanted to get rid of last. So I always end up having to redo them all. Increases energy resistance, uh, reduces AP, yeah. Alright. So what are we going to try to aim towards? We'll go over there. Kind of go up there and make our way. Let's go get the lookout. Do 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 do. Let's we got 40 minutes. 40 minutes to the next mutated event. That'd be sweet if we can get into a successful eviction notice and get every single, probably every piece I'll have will get upgraded. Which is always nice. You're telling me I could finish the season pass? You can finish. Um, yeah, it's expensive though. If I grind West Tech, yeah, yeah. If you're uh, there's crazy amounts of videos on setting up a build for experience with with throwing grenades. You could like every grenade you throw, you get like twenty five thousand experience. Yada yada. Um. So yeah, yeah. Mister West Tech is kind of is the YouTuber that he's got all kinds of videos on how to farm experience. I think he just hit level eight thousand or something. Was repetitive West Tech farming. A bunch of people in our Discord are familiar with how to do it. So there's... You can get some advice on that pretty quickly and easily. Alright. There you go. Let's go get the mine. If this bear doesn't kill us, that is. Oh, we have to kill Blood Eagles anyway, don't we? Oh, they're super mutants. I use Nuka Grape to keep mutations until I can... I've never actually used Nuka Grape. I didn't even know what it does. Until it starts genes, since it removes rads and mutations. Nice. Alright. I forget what this location was for. I think we're not going to bother with that one for now. Get it off our logs. We don't have too many tool tip, tool tips at the top and little dots on our mini map. Oh, and now I know where I am. It's so weird when you approach a location that you've been to many times from not a typical thing. Like I didn't recognize this all at all, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, geez, we're at Earl. That's, that's kind of I kind of cool thing with playing new character again. 
All right, we're going to go get Sunny Top. We're going to go up that way to Crater. Do, 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 do. Yeah, glue. Yeah, uh, adhesive, Mr. Adhesive on Discord, Blue Consumer. You can, uh, if they're willing, you can, I can let you know. I know there's a bunch of people that do it, though. Do, 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 do. Train stations. How much experience do these things do you have? Any? Eight. So not much. Do, 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 do. Train station. Let's get sunny top since we're right next to it. This was kind of a common place for the when the the Savage Divide horde is super mutants. It seems like it's most of the time it's gonna be here. And we will be back here for our backpack quest to run the track. Actually, I wonder if they'll let me even do it right now. Might as well since we're going downhill. Nope. Definitely won't let me. All right. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. So what exactly does Nuka Grape do? Why well, I doubt I have one on me. It just it removes rads. Is that the one that does like 1,500 rads, or am I thinking of something else? Okay. There we go. Now well, let's treasure our way over to the bottom of the ski place and make the long walk up to Crater. One good thing about having Crater fast travel, it is a free fast travel. You can go back there anytime. Ooh, I don't remember this place at all. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Oh, my guys are going to disconnect. There you go. You've been giving some attention. Yeah, I don't remember this place at all. It's just a random, uh... Oh, there's like a cave and stuff? Yeah, I do not remember that. <clears throat> That's kind of cool when you discover little places you've never seen before. Oh, it's kind of a little offshoot of this. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the... Oh, that makes sense. It's part of that racetrack. Not the racetrack, the... Are these traps live? Oh, yeah. Traps are live. Be careful over there. Um, gives HP and removes rads. Amount depends on if you run. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember there would be one that was did a lot, a lot of, a lot of stuff. Twelve hundred left to go. Oh, man, you've done eight hundred so far. That's actually not too bad. You are making. I hope you're making sure uh, you're paying attention to your weight. Uh, I hope you do know. You get max weight, you're not gonna get anything. You'll like keep digging maps. Oh, you're getting jack swap from it. This is not really great in bats. Good for a couple of hits at least. Not ideal though. Any 
anything. Oh, we're going the complete opposite way. Um, oh, wait, let's get that watchtower, though. Yeah, definitely when you're starting at a character, every time you see that, that mark on the bottom of my screen for the uh, lookouts, definitely go click it because it's going to unlock. It won't discover them for you, but it'll show you locations nearby that you can get, which is nice. I think I'd been playing, like, it was, like, four or five years after the game came out and I like discovered came over here discovered like two places I'd, I'd never been just come up the edge click survey and did it unlock anything oh yeah see it, it popped these up on my map since you're at a high vantage point you can see them anyway let's make our long way over there get the pumpkin house I started doing this pumpkin dailies every day. I know it'll take a long time, but I'm thinking that it's like the death blossoms in the forest where you won't actually get it, it can only give the re radioactive seeds um, and no other area loot like the BOS jumpsuit or anything, but we're gonna keep doing them. Might as well. Something to do. Do 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 not want to click that. We'll do that do later. Which vault is this? Is this vault 94? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going there. Wait, wrong way though. I'm gonna make, make our way this way. Do 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 do. Get our little thing along the way. Gonna bother with that guy. Let's get you discovered though. Come on, there you go. Just for you guys that are new, you fall in there, you will die no matter what. No. Just imagine it's 17 trillion rads. Do, 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 do. Oh, well, cave. I forget, I forget the quest that's involved with. But we're on a mission now. And the squirrels later. Let's see, which one of these do we want to go to? Which one's going to get bigger on our little map down there? I want to know. Am I going to the Man, I am going totally the wrong way. I'm getting all backwards. Hey, we're just gonna go at fast travel back there. Get the closest thing. When you follow squirrels, they will lead you in wrong directions. <laughs> Alright, we're going to try to make a beeline up to the crater. I'm going to put a little marker on the map so that we know what we're focused on. There we go. I'm going that way. That away. Just so you guys know, if you don't have Speed Demon, perk on it. Putting your weapon away will make you walk faster. I actually wasn't sure about that because I've had Speed Demon for so long, but I saw that confirmed in one of Bethesda's little tips tips for new players. 
I definitely remember that being a thing in Fallout 4. So that did transfer over. But like a lot of perks, Speed Demon makes it irrelevant. I die. Oh, I can make it down here. Again, this is why you have bird bones. Would have stunned you if not caused damage on the way down. This, on the other hand, oh, no, I think we actually make it. That's the stun I was talking about. A lot of these you can just cheat down, though. Alright, we will try to go clear off a little bit to get that little I think is that a cemetery, I believe. Cemetery that's part of the quest for the remains, I think. Yeah, that's it. Speak of the devil. Oh, it's actually not too far off. Well, I'll tend to that squirrel. Hey, Morp, if you want, you can join my world. We can team up uh, and gain some caps. Um, I'm in the middle of my, my stream, bud. This is kind of a planned event thing here. Uh, thank you, though. Maybe another, maybe later, if you've still got maps up. Um, did I get it? Yeah, I got it. All right, let's go grab this quest. Yeah, how many days on the free trials left? Um, does it end on Tuesday? Bird bones or goat legs or ch Chinese stealth? Oh, Chinese stealth? Oh, I think I, I, I don't actually don't remember reading the tool tips of that. That does, uh damage too yeah Chinese stealth armor is like really great uh, by far hands down the very best hazmat suit in the game no argument don't even try to argue that is the hardcore best hazmat suit it's like what's the set set damage it's like 140 isn't like a full set uh, or like, it's like comparable to the other other armor sets. It's uh pretty awesome. Yeah, the sad thing is you can't have a jetpack with it though. Or just fire the jetpack uh, right before you hit the ground. Sadly, that doesn't work with uh, regular jetpacks. It it works fine with power armor, but the whole trick of trying to jetpack when you fall, you will still die in regular armor. Ninety percent fall damage. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah, Chinese stealth armor is definitely worth worth uh, worth farming for, and Minerva does sell it cheaper if you don't want to do the. Is it max reputation with Crater? I believe to get that. Um, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna. Are you? There we go. Who shoot me? Lone, lone, jump, jump from really high and try it. Try it and tell me. <laughs> do 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 do. Quest for foundation and Chinese uh, armor is free. Yeah, that is definitely an option. Um, if you buy it from Minerva, it's still going to be a, like thousands of bullion. But there is the option you just follow the story story mode and you don't mind waiting to finish get the uh i just want to say exalted oh yeah i gotta put the shovel on uh you can get it for free and i do suggest unless they've changed that aspect of the game i do suggest that you get your reputation with foundation and creator up to maximum before you finish that quest chain uh, cause it'll make it easier to do, do stuff. Anyway, let's keep on trudging along. We keep on going north. 
And if you guys do that quest, I do suggest you drop the shovel back on the ground. It's five pounds. Unless you have, have uh, some weight reduction perks. Totally been all the time. Oh, well, there you go. Maybe it's just me that dies when I, I'm doing that. All right, we got one thing we can discover that way and one to discover this way. Let's, let's get these little squirrels along the way. Uh, I forget how, oh, that's the one over there. This one's kind of, oh, that was really far. We're just going to go straight towards it, though. Do, 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 do. This one's popping up bigger on our map. You'll notice that the little icons at the bottom of your, your map there, uh, once they start getting bigger and bigger, that means you're getting really close to them. So this is definitely close enough to go discover. Nice edge. Certain enemies, like these bugs, if you get up on top of something, they won't be able to attack you. Stuff like mole rats, though, they'll still somehow can dig through the ground and magically go through the air and burrow up to you up on top of the buildings it's kind of defeats uh physics but whatever do 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 crater this location was here from the launch of game the little uh what is that like a space space station kind of thing yeah in hindsight you could totally tell they had this planned out from the launch of game but this was here and nothing else I have a jetpack let's check on our buffs while we're here well tuned we still got a half hour in that we'll need to redo our stuff That's feels so weird having to take forty five shots to kill someone. All right, we are here. Ooh, jerk sandwich. the crater part of the main story this is the process that you're going to go through to unlock uh doing gold bullion in the game it will be a currency for find a bunch of plans and a bunch of stuff i don't think they'll do I have access to this vendor yet i don't know there will be a robot vendor and these you have access to even when you're first starting out you can turn in your treasury notes that you get from events. And you can accumulate your gold bullion and use that with Minerva. It's all my alts have the Secret Service stuff. Anyway, what's up, Meg? We come back to Appalachia and we're neck deep in these so-called seven. Not to mention cultists, bloodthirsty bandits, you name it. If there really is a trove of unimaginable anything here, it belongs to us. We're the ones going to benefit. Not the parasites who never fought for them. We need to check out... On this playthrough, my first playthrough, I sided with the, Fed, the Foundation. I was a jerk to them the whole time. I'm going to do the reverse this playthrough. All right. Don't forget, Appalachia belongs to us. All right. Oh, got that one done. So our next step is go down to Foundation, and we. Are going to make our way. We did miss some stuff over there. We're going to start kind of where we. I think we're just going to follow the track down. 
We'll go back down the sunny slope. We're going to make our way all the way down. Kind of get the uh, train stations along the way. Probably end up doing a little squirrel tan and start here and kind of get all this stuff. It'd be kind of nice. Get to see the savage goodbye. Do you guys have a, a favorite zone in the game? Dude, let's do a bowl. Um, let's see. Favorite starting area. Forest. Toxic. Finale. Ashy. Let's see. Let's, let's see what we got. Let's make our way down. We got Nanga Mine. Do, 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 do. One thing I I would have liked to, to for them to have that Fallout Four had was the random encounter, like the quests, like the full random encounters. They do have random ones, but it's more like just a dude you talk to. There's like whole quest chains that felt like Fallout Four. Never mind. My person who got me into playing Fallout 4 really over exaggerated. He's like, oh man, you should see this game that's about to come out. You could basically just walk around and do none of the quests. And there's like thousands of random encounter quests that you'll do, and then it ended up being like five. Metal Dome. Oh, yeah, somebody was saying on the last stream, we need to get a chainsaw. Uh, let's get our chainsaw. Boom. I think we're going to roll it, too. Let's see if we can get a god roll off of the eight cores or whatever I have. All right. <laughs> if anyone is not familiar with rolling items in the game, uh, it's going to require five legendary cores. So I'll be able to do five rolls here. And you get these from doing public events. I have the Chinese stealth armor, and it's not just not sure where I'd use it. I carry it though. It's awesome for when you're doing radiation rumble. You could pop on the helmet and the suit, and you can just go run down in that radiation area with no no care in the world. It'd go help out and collect up the ore. It's like crazy better than than power armor. You're pretty much immortal. You might have to do a rad away, a rad away diluted once every 10 minutes or something down there. You can basically go take a nap in the red zone. It's cool. Oh, but anyway, so I have enough legendary cores to do five rolls. And also with doing it, you're going to need to do legendary modules. And you'll get those by turning in your script and buying those at the purveyor. Which we can cover more later. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some rolls. I got five possible rolls. Let's get a god roll. Right off the bat, junkies, no. Oops, where'd it go? Oh, Vampire 40 would be amazing. Junkies, no. Furious crit strength, it's kind of a collector. But, um, exterminators, ooh, we got one roll left. Oh, I hope it's a vampire. Junkies. Oh, regardless, we got a, we got a chainsaw. We're gonna put it on here. We now need a new melee. We got this going. Can I back these guys? I can't. Alright. It's something. Okay. We're gonna take a little a little time to go and rest and get our buff going again before we make our trudge back since we got this fast travel. So let's go back to our base real quick. Let's get some rest. And, um, yeah, that MC, that uh, stuff armor was amazing. I keep it on me all the time, too. It's it's the only 
drawback is you can't use a jetpack, and there's no weight reduction. So I always carry around a lot of weapons on me, so when I go pop it on, I can't sprint or anything. Someone gave me a one-star vampire chainsaw. Yeah, yeah, pretty much a one-star, a pure one-star one of those in a vampire. You're, like, good to go. It's it's so overpowered, powered, it's funny. Popcorn or company tea. We got... We're not going to worry about anything. It's, we're just going to get our rest of the bonus. We're going to go. My chainsaw is anti-armor. Still pretty nice. People that uh, have a chainsaw centralized build, they there's a perk in the strength tree that gives you 75% armor pen, which I'm jealous of because we don't have that as melee. Oh, I totally forgot about the uh, mutated men. That's yeah, fine. Um, but yeah, it's pretty sweet. Make sure you do all the available quests for both Foundation Critic. Pick one of the final ones. Yes, to get all the rewards. But yeah, it's funny. There are certain events... Like a heart of the swamp. I just get in power armor, pull out my vampire chainsaw, and you're pretty much immortal for that whole thing. It's kind of silly how OP it is. Uh, let's see. Let's get our food buffs going. Our company tea and our popcorn. It really doesn't feed you much, does it? It gives a good little buff, though. We got mutton chops. We got some red. Purified water. We're gonna take some boiling boiled water with us. Get our drink on. There we go. And the reason you want to keep your hunger and thirst up, or the hunger and thirst bars up, is you get these buffs. Well fed, one strength, thirty five percent more health, disease resists, and what I like is the AP regen of thirty five percent is amazing. And later on, you can get a perk in your endurance. A uh, tree that adds another 10%, which is really sweet. Worth it for me. So, anywho, let's go ahead and make our way back down. We were stopped at Metal Dome. Actually, we're going to go down a Hopeful Cave and get these along the way. What's up, Miklish? We're having a nice. Lazy Sunday, playing our new character. Right, get a little soda pop going. Click, click, click. We're going to be going towards south. We're going to get these little squirrels over there. That's where we were sort of getting distracted to earlier, but now we officially get to do it on purpose. Do, 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 do. Oops. Not make it up there. I'm playing Fallout 4. Nice. I'm actually looking forward to that. Next week I'm going to be playing more Fallout 4. Getting ready for the up update coming up. The next gen update, I believe. I think from the post that I saw in a little video from another YouTuber saying that it's going to break all of the mods in the game. So just be aware, aware of that. Um, you don't have to download the new update if you want to just keep using your mods. I'm not sure how hardcore you could. I don't know if you can download the whole version of the game twice. Let's see. There we go. So now we're going to make our way towards yonder. Even though we can get this fast travel for free if... Uh, one violent night event pops up. We're just going to go grab it now. Since we're here. There's a lot of junk here too. It's nice. Go scoop all this stuff up. Somehow I broke the Nuka World DLC. And now all textures are broken. Um, Are you running any mods? Nicholish? Or why do I think that you're on console? Some things might just be bugged. Alright. Good amount of stuff.
No, don't. No. Don't click. Shoot the guy in the face. Speaking of Mr. Morp, is there a Fall of 56 mop you have to have? Personally, the perk load managers, I, I can't imagine playing without that. The ability to have your perks, like I can save up to 12 different perks and just click a button and switch to them. I don't know why it's not in the game. So I can't really do it on this character. But let's say, you know, I wanted to have my super duper, my ammo smith, my, my armorer, my gunsmith, my, my stuff that I'm just using for at my camp. I could just go click my, you know, number two or whatever I save it as. Um, which is just kind of have to have type of thing. Other than that, um, I'm, I'm really down on the mods that I'm actually using anymore. Yeah. Give some attention to my alts. They're about to disconnect. There we go. I thought uh, that mod was broke. I've been skipping it. Uh, which the perk load manager? Uh, the thing with perk load manager is it requires another mod called SFE. Um, all S the thing that SFE does is enables other mods to write data. Like if you wanted to save the perk load, you know you wanted to change the thing out. In order for you to click the feature to save it, the SFE has to be working. And any time that there's any even a small update, the SFE mod breaks, and sometimes it takes a while for them to update it. But the perk load manager will, st will still work without it going. You just can't save. Um. So yeah, it's definitely a great perk, and SFE is updated right now. So if you had different perk loadouts that you you do use regularly, it's a good time to go get it get it set up. Uh, one one thing that the perk load manager does not do is you can't change your special stats. So let's say you're, you know, all of these have to stay exactly the same. Like if you had a, a melee build that's like 15 strength and these are all different and one that like this is 2 and 15, uh, this won't change those. But it'll just change, it. Based, uh, it's, all it's really doing is changing these cards instantly for you instead of having like, go click that and then click that and click over there. You just click the button and it switches them all for you. Yeah, MC. Yeah, that's that's definitely the one I, I I don't think I'll ever get rid of. Uh, there are other other mods called Better Inventory and Save Everything, and Fast Pip and Fast UI, which are are great. Better Inventory it adds this little percentage counter down here. So let's say I'm super over encumbered and I can't figure out why. This tab, the food tab, I can see there's four pounds in there. Whoops, wrong button. Four pounds. This one's got two pounds. This one's, oh, I got 18 pounds in there. That's why I'm so heavy. And it's sort of all out. And there's also fast pip and fast UI that make it so all of these, all of the tabs are in one screen. Um, so you don't have to like scroll over to get your ammo. It's kind of like a visual thing. That's all it's doing. It's not adding any other thing. Love better inventory. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's definitely a definitely a great one. Um, and there's a way to get the save everything and the fast UI and better inventory to all work together by using the mod injector, which it's kind of a there's a full description on it. I was always intimidated, but I ended up finally doing it. I'm glad I did, so I can use all four at once. Anyway, we got this guy. We're gonna make our way towards here. And then over there, and then there, and there, and there. All right. We had a daily to kill blood eagles, so we're going to go that way. Um, da -da 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 Which one do I actually want to try? I'm going to try this one. Not really a sniper, but it'll, it'll be fun. Let's get rid of... Talk to Forging Trust. We're going to get rid of that one. We don't want too many dots on our map. Uh, uh, Ardernus is such a fun gun. Ardernus. I don't know what that is. Alright. I got a 
lots of great things on me. Oh, that's up at the top of the thing. I'm not gonna go up there yet. Do 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 do. Um, and I'd love to see the better health bar. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's such a simple mod. It's if you're bloodied, it's it's extremely helpful. Because some, sometimes you'll be at that twenty point zero one, and you you don't realize that you're not even bloodied, getting the benefit of it. That just makes it nice, nice and easy for you. I'm gonna run out of plasma cores here pretty quick. Oh, well, this is a location for the. It's a trap event. That's four. All right. Do, 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 do. It's a unique weapon in fall. Oh, okay. That's why I'm not. It's not ringing a bell. Never ending Gatling laser. Nice. I don't remember that one. This is a location for one of the Ford events. There's also a treasure. Map location right here. Look for these flowers. Right, uh... Right there, yeah. This is trip. Savage Divide number something, something, something. Oh, yeah. I, I made an entire guide on my channel for uh, the treasure map locations. And, man, it took me like three days making all these. Every single treasure map location, what do they get, like, two views? Oh, it went from, like, two views to six views. But, yeah, if you have any, if you need to know where anything is, I got a whole, uh, whole list of here, every single location. Yeah, eight views, five views. So, they are definitely not lighting up the, uh, the view charts. <laughs> Alright, we got a trailer that way. Let's get this trailer. It looks like it's... The icon's getting big, so it's close. I don't remember was this one up the hill or not. Can you make it? Just barely. It's bugged and doesn't use any ammo. I remember the 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 ten millimeter silenced pistol you get from some dude, some some quest reward. Um that was just amazing in VATS. That thing used to just, it was so overpowered that they actually had to nerf it uh, when the game came out. Like you go into VATS and you had like 15 or 20, 20 possible shots you could do. <laughs> I have it like on the hardest possible mode and I'd go into a room with like 20 people and just do headshot, 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 kill the entire area. Oh, there's legendary dude. Oh, it's three star too. Instigating buff is done. Let's switch to the other one. Does anyone else not miss that thing where the legendaries had two phases where you get their health down and their health would go back up? I don't miss that at all. Oh, we got a three-star. Uh, where are we? So we're going to start going towards there. So we're going to go. Oh, we got a tower. Oh, let's go to that tower up there. I have an unleveled world mod uh, to make it better. Nice. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Do, 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 do. Can we make it up here without a jetpack? Oh, just barely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we won today.
Yeah, this uh, doctor's order gun not very good. Let's make our way up yonder. Let's get these locations figured out. No. That little smell there with bodies just hooked up on stuff. This should come with a disclaimer don't do this in real life. If you have a missile launcher and you're inside a 10 foot by 10 foot room, don't shoot it at them. <laughs> you're gonna have a bad day. I got a good idea. Let me do a mini nuke, a fat man mini nuke shot point blank into your face. What could go wrong? All right, which way are we going? We're going, no, we're not going south, we're going west, right? Oh, we got a bunch of stuff to get. All right, let's go over there. Do do do. I guess you can kind of see it uh, walking a little bit faster. Can you tell the difference how fast I'm walking than when I put it away? I don't know if it's the camera angle pulls back a little bit. It's an illusion that you're going faster or not. That's long reload. Daily done. Little twofer. All right. I hope we got some right. It's crap. I'm gonna bench here somewhere, I think. There you go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Should have been putting on a right leg. Oops. Yeah, what am I forgot I've been missing a piece of armor this whole time. Um there we go. We got a right leg. Which way would you go? I'm gonna go over there. Uh, I cannot get up there, but there is a way around. There is another treasure map location up there. There are two ways to get it. There's this little left way. I'm not gonna go to the location, you guys can figure it out. over there one of the benefits of playing full health as opposed to bloodied <laughs> it's basically to feel like you don't have to worry about dying at all let me just run around i'll do a stem pack in like 20 minutes it'll be fine come on there you go Aunt Parsons, how's it going? Imagine speed running this game for charity. Yeah, be, I wonder how you would do a speed run for this game. Like, what would be the classification? Like, completing the... Um, unlocking the gold vaults, or... This game really doesn't seem to have an ending, per se. I bet there's people out there. You, you know, on this, not 
I'm going to keep the Sundays going on new stuff for a while. Uh, after I kind of get this guy high enough, I'm going to start it. I don't know if I'll delete this guy or to start another one. I was going to do a sort of like a speed run. Basically, giving myself like all the possible perks and buffs and lunch boxes and level one and yielding stuff. Like, see if I can get him from like level two to 50 in like 20 minutes or something crazy. I can't wait to get a better gun so I can one shot stuff in the face. Join the Enclave run. Yep. I don't know what that is. Sounds interesting. Come on. Discover the area. There you go. Alright, let's keep making our way towards yonder. Oh, we're close to that. We'll go discover this. This is one of the possible ending spots for the free range event. Well, discover it. There you go. Alright, we're gonna make our way towards... Let's go to Fred's Barbecue. It's barbecue. I forget whether well, something there's like some junk item or some item in here that you get a oh foxes yeah when you need when the daily is to take a picture of foxes or or something with foxes they're always here. I want to say there was something else cool in here. Was it salt? You get a buddy that always said anytime you need salt or pepper, this is an okay place to get it. Anywho. Where are we going to try to sneak to next? Uh, da, 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 da. We're going to actually go this way. We're good there. Actually, no. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to go this way. Let's go get our little silo site alpha. And again, if you are playing with with friends and stuff and it's not your if this isn't your first playthrough this is definitely you could do this a lot quicker if you have friends like i could have my alt sitting there to fast travel to to discover this stuff really quickly but i do suggest if it's on your very first playthrough go go explore around some of these little places in between fast travel spots you might not, not ever see them again until you and I do what I'm doing now. It's really nice for kind of scouting out little camping spots or places to put camps. Like this would just be so pretty if you, you kind of build the camp around this whole waterfall area. Well, there's some cool little spots around. I forget, is this swimming or knee high? Albino. There we go. Well. Let's shoot you in the face with our anti armor. Because you're kind of tanky. Are you going to run away? 
seems too scared of the uh, the level 54 dude. I don't know if that was an anti-cheese kind of thing, where you try to hide in that building, it makes them like sprint the opposite way. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, let's go down to the relay tower, get our little fast travel point for when we're doing strength and numbers. It's kind of the point of doing all this. Get as many fast travel points as you can when you're going on these long journeys. Make it a little quicker for you in the future. This is a big radio telescope. Do, do, do. Which way are we going to go? Let's go over yonder. Do, do, do. Well, might as well get less tech while we're here. Huntersville. We like South of Huntersville. I'm so awesome. Fast travel completed. Now we're gonna go get this thing and stuff. This is one of the possible locations for the ghoul horde when that pops up on the map. And you're looking for ghouls. If you see this location, chances are it's gonna be here. Come on. There you go. Alright. We are gonna make our way towards um we're actually not gonna we're not gonna go we're gonna go that way. Let's not spoil tangent off too far. Do 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 we don't want that one on our thingy. I'd be able to make it up here. I'm gonna be have to make my way around the cliffs and stuff. Do, 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 do. What location is that? Well, let's get that. It's getting big on our map, which means we're close. Ripa, Ripa. Do, 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 do. All right, we'll squeeze our way to there. It's pretty much a beeline. Uh, da, 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 da. We have to go around. All right, we got 23 minutes. Possible eviction notice. On his bail. Yeah. Oh, 
How far is that? No, I'm gonna go for Solomon's Pond. Yeah, a little bit too far. All right. Do some switchbacks, get up the hill. Don't think I can cheat up here. Can I? Can I? Foundation, another main free fast travel spot. We get two. This is going to be one of your two places that you can buy the reputation um, items. Uh, this is for the settlers. Oh. Reputation, the dude, he's normally right here unless he's walking around. Might not be available until I, oh, I know he's chilling over here. Can I buy anything from him yet? You can buy, you can buy certain things from him, uh, but the list of stuff that you can get from him will grow as you get higher and higher. Uh, affinity, reputation with the dudes. And that will take a while. There are dailies you could do, plus you could farm eviction notice and Moonshine Jamboree for Crater. Back when I did it, you can only do the one daily a day with Foundation and two for Crater and take the pictures with the Overseer robot. That was it. A couple of random encounters and that was also it. <laughs> And if you want to dig us up, then the answer, then the answer is no. It's a it's a walls weren't already kind of state to that effect. Pardon me? And not, not believe. This is this some kind of a spear attack? Alright. It's not just a few But you're saying it's an infection. All my, All my people are at risk? Thanks for, Thanks for the warning. You know, if I was a local campaign part of my neighborhood, I might say a few things too. I'll tell you what, one of my own is a doc. I sent him ahead to start up an operation. Turn in my roller. Um, oh, yeah, I always forget about that one. Yeah, there's that one. And I'm convinced too. Yeah, you see that cool farm of my roller queen. To go and turn that in, that dude. Get the maximum amount. I'll check with Robbery. As soon as you agree with you about this, then we'll hear you up. Yeah, I think I'll check with Robbery. Yeah, about time to get a little bit of attention to you guys so you don't disconnect. Get through the XP bonus, boy. <laughs> How can these guys do unlock um, dailies that you can do the vital equipment for ward here and the two ladies over at creator all right We are not going to be doing the daily though. Let's get that off the map. Serious mission. We're going to stick with these two. All right, here to stay. Oh, she's going downstairs, right? Oh, she's all the way down there. All right. So let's kind of plan our little tech here. We do want to make sure we get the train station. So we're going to kind of go that way. 
foot towards right up here. Heard Sunny got a new that way. I forgot the little part of the quest where you go. Or is it, I think down in there. It's been a while. It's been a while. Kind of the fun thing with playing the after so long. There's gonna be little things I'm gonna completely forget about. Or be pleasantly reminded of. Let's go this way. You know, our little thing from where we're going to go do our backpack quest. Where does the dirt layer? You told me you needed to find the. Uh... Oh, let's get. Then the next day. Well, oh, yeah, you're telling me about that. Next day's. Like, all right, we got, we got a bunch of them. Hey, speak of like, my work point. That is not a battle I want to fight right now. Oh, I remember this area when I very first came here. I don't know what it was, but I was like transfixed with it. I thought this was like the coolest looking location of any game I'd ever seen. Well, that's over exaggerating. But I just remember like, oh man, I, I want to live here. This looks, looks, looks so cool. Look at those pretty lights. And then I got murdered the second I came up to him. Like, you tricked me. You tricked me. It was the first time I ever saw floaters. It looks pretty though. Until you realize they're douchebags. I don't know how long that fire goes before it just oh yeah, there you go. That's pretty far before it disappears. Alright, we got fifteen minutes until our next possible eviction notice. You know, make sure we're pretty low on weight. We're doing all right. So we're gonna go. We're just gonna make our way straight down there. Um, uh, we're not close. That, that's actually not too far. We'll get that little little camp spot. You always where I fast travel to go do Savage Divide. Map number one. Bo, 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 bo. Come on, there you go. Not gonna worry about the Denton Sons down there. Not gonna worry about the workshop too. You can't fast travel to that unless you own it already. Oh, never mind. Looks like we're gonna discover it anyway. I forgot to jump. Give me your coat, dude. Oh, we masked. Oh, wait. I thought it was the event. Don't want to do you. There we go. Uh, 
What is this vault? Um, oh, what vault is this? Not 61. Uh, 51? I forgot what vault number this is. We'll get it. We'll get it after talking. Talking to was it Aubrey. Do 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 do. Oh, covered up the Twitch chat. I think we only got. I don't think anyone's watching on Twitch. I have not given any attention to Twitch. Getting that going. Seventy versus whatever I have now on YouTube. What other guns do I got to play around with? They all look pretty bad. How bad is this one? At least it fires fast. Sort of. It packs a little bit of punch. Where are you? Run! You can run, dude. Grab whenever you can. Just be aware. Put your jump away. Alright, this thing fire slow, actually. Um, this new area changed the look of your pets. Um, I don't know too much about pets. I do know that when you switch your camp around they do change from zone to zone uh i had i actually have no idea if they have like a special holy red version down there that'd be kind of interesting interesting to know i know we have somebody on our discord uh that knows a lot about those pet sayings they'll they'll uh i don't know if they'll do a guide for it would be who i'd ask about it shark frank shark pretty it's pretty early in the bts to to know anything that's in there and there's as with all the pts's i'm assuming this is uh, technically the first time i'd ever been on a pts there are everything's bound to change all right where are we going yonder What is it? The mire? The mire you can take take um what is it the wolves and the the bear pets or the I know the death paw you can make it have a different look if you move your camp. I don't know, no. Interesting question though, camp. All right. All right. All right. Just don't, don't start yelling about the warrant or anything crazy like that. They hit they us out of the sunshine. Sound of it. Chip it. I don't know. I don't know how long. Yeah. I had a slot that looked like a looked like bubble gum. Oh, nice. I've never actually gotten a pet in the game. 
fate needs to know as soon as possible. Pain of human mind. I'm spelled major. How to spread? And what's the incubation scene? The symptom? Is there a treat? Yeah, my blood. There's an inoculation. We need to get that to foundation. Yes. Yeah. easy, No, no joke. Local, you're our friend. Phoenix person. Trust me. I'm on board. I'll just be on my way. Make sure to tell Paige to spread it to you. Right on. Do we got any stuff in here? Do do do. That's my food. Oh, I've been neglecting my food. Help any tea. We like you. Popcorn. We like you. Pumpkin pie, sure. Can I see a cooking station in there? No. Do, 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 do. Some boiled water. There we go. All right. Well, now we got all that done. Let's see. Oh, I can't do any of the squirrel fights. We got five minutes left until we get an eviction notice. I think we are going to go back to the base and get our rested bonus up. Grab some more food, cook a little food that we do got, just to get a little free experience. We're going to server hop and get an eviction notice. Let's do it. If I do get lucky and get an eviction notice on my private, we'll. So we can get a mad dash and get you guys, get some people to come help, because I definitely cannot solo it. I'd be surprised if I'm doing one damage to these dudes with my gun. But yeah, starting out, it's always good to just cook everything you get. You get a little bit of experience for it, I mean, five or whatever, but it's better than nothing. And some of the food that you cook, you will be getting little buffs from. Which is always good. ESO made uh, made the Thieves Guild free today for everybody. ESOs. ESO never played that. Actually, don't know really anything about it. Popping tea, popcorn. Let's get our scrap stuff. Oh, Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My brain's not working. Uh, guild. Is that, is, uh, is that, uh, like an add-on? Or, um, DLC? Do you have to have a game port? I don't think I own Elder Scrolls Online. Do-do-do-do-do. <sighs> All right. Our little rest bonus, and we're gonna rock and roll. Skyrim's the last one I played. All right, looks like Forest One with 69. 80. Right on. Yeah, Forest is pretty. Literally only going back there for dailies, weeklies, and yes, uh, it was free on Epic Games a year ago. You know, DLC is getting released uh, free every so often. Oh, I wonder if uh, I wonder if I clicked it, clicked it on the Epic's free game thing. <laughs> I have that launch. If anyone doesn't know Epic's Epic's game, you get to launch them like every week. What do they have? Like one or one or two free games. I think I played one game on it ever, but I always. A little pop up ad on my screen every once in a while. Like, I don't know how many hundreds of games I have free just from clicking it, which is kind of nice. Seems like if you get different launchers and you play them long enough, you can have a whole arsenal of games end up like on Steam with the Humble Bundle subscription that I had for a long time. I have like 800 games that I've 
never clicked on or installed. The majority of them are probably just junk, but they're, they're cool to have. Yeah, one of the accounts I'm playing right now, uh, I think it was Mr. Yeah, Mr. Morpson. Actually, I got free with Audible Bundle. Yeah, he was. This account was free. This one was like paid like a few bucks for when it was on sale. All right, let's get a fiction notice. Who all's online? We got Bindi, Winter Steel, Bone Dragon. Uh, three. Oh, that's at least. Oh, we got four. Yeah, we got four people that are that are on. Um, people are up. All right, so let's get lucky. Let's get lucky. Come on. Do, 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 do. Which one are we going to shoot? What's going to be the best for tagging stuff? Oh, probably this one, huh? AP would kill. Yeah, we're going uh, yeah, to do AP. It's a good game. Hella grindy. I think I've heard that before, yeah. Alright. We got uranium fever? Nope. Let's go get an eviction notice. Test your metal. I just wish Fallout Simon was a farming simulator. That would be rad. Unpardonable. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go down by the queen. That'd be rad. But dum dum Alright. Laptop screen up here. I won't be able to see chat for a minute or so. Got no eviction. Let's go, let's go. Not here, Kenneth Dean. I just got a note. Oh, I think I hit the freaking custom world. That's annoying when you have your mouse. If your mouse is kind of hovering over wrong thing, you go to click, click real fast. Hitting that freaking custom world. I'd admit a nope. All right. Nope. Oh. Want eviction notes? Don't fail me now. Test your noble. What do you got? What do you got? Uranium nope. Do, 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 do. You got no Kennethine. That's all that matters. Do, 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 do. Give me something cool. I want all kinds of upgrades. Nope. Nope. Ooh, I hear ticking. I hear ticking sounds. Woot, woot. Alright, let's go. Hopefully there's good people there. We gotta rely on the strength of others for this one. But if you guys join my team, if you can get in, I join the world. Warp send or Mr. Morp. World is full. World is full. Anyone out there? 
Sadly, but looks like it's gonna be a fail. And all right, well, no luck on that one. I'm definitely not going to complain. There are an um, insane influx of new players. So, you're going to expect some stuff to not be the way we want it to be. So, I'm not going to get mad at all these servers with me being level 54, being the highest one on the server type of thing. Four minutes, I think we're going to squeeze into whatever we can get. Not that one, though. No. Uh -huh. One violent night. Two people there. Sure. Mine in the sand, let's go to mine in the sand. And I'm dead. Do, 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 the poison ones rep when you're playing with alts. <laughs> All we can do is try to help, right?
All right. Taking my own advice and joining the team. What the what? What the what? <laughs> oh, there goes those guys. Oh no! And you're dead. Let's see if we can sneak over and get a double dude. Stuff going on. Sneak in. We can't. All right. Eleven minutes. We might be able to find one. Let's see if we can get a moonshine jamboree still going on. Time for a nuke. No, no moonshine. Nothing. Oh, I didn't make it in time. Well, we just got before defiance, which is good. You can load in, load in. Let's see. Did you find anything you didn't? I think we are gonna take. You got an event going on? You do not. Let's take a little side break here and we'll check out uh, the dress farm. If you guys are not familiar, I do have extensive guides on farming the Red Asylum dress. I do suggest you click on the one. There, the two that are up on the most popular ones, the ones that have a lot of views, have, have update written across the thing. If you scroll down a little further, will be the. There's also links in those videos to the newest one with the updated tips on there. I will quickly go over things. Let's go see if we can get a red dress. That would be so bonkers if I got a rare dress in my first time in here. But very quickly, you can go up here. You need a jetpack to get up there, though. Basically, to open this door without doing the quest, you follow that cord up there. Can't do it, you can go to the end of the hall, and there's a little way you can jump around. To get around. Nope, can't quite make it. Show you how to reset the place. Because no one's been in here yet. Oh, I'm not. I'm full health. I don't have to worry. You guys don't scare me. Think our way over yonder. 
Oops. I did that in the video too. Oh, yeah, there we go. Thank you. Wait, I'm assuming there's going to be no dresses here. No one's been in here. We're going to go in and out the front door like seven times. Make these three dress spawn locations pop. As well as this possible enclave box spawn. Be a good little, little break in the action for us. Hey, dude. Why aren't you in your room crying? You normally are. Do 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 do. Long story short on what I'm doing here. Once you enter this building, it's instanced. So like it's its unique instance. Every time you load in to the door, there's a 20% chance that it will make one of the dresses spawn upstairs. The rest of the entire building is 100%. Like if there's going to be a uh, you know weather dress somewhere or a hat there, they're going to be there when you first go in. Those three spots up there, it's a 20% chance each time. So if you do it multiple times, it doesn't technically add up to 100. Like five times won't make it. Sometimes it's it's as little as a couple tries, sometimes 10 tries to get into pop. Um, but just as long as no one has looted any of those three spots on this server, you can make it load. Or that you haven't picked up uh, one of those dresses on a previous server. And if you have, you got to reset your loot table or you won't see that anything on that spot for 24 hours until you loot 255 items. Again, I have extensive guides on those. This is number three. Let's do like four more. Yeah, I got the responder fireman outfit. Yes, uh, last Sunday. That'd be crazy if I got a a rare outfit on this stream too. That would be a type of streak that I would love. Ultra rare Sundays. Do 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 do. Let's try one more. See how many got we got to spawn. We might as well end this on showing you the other trick and how to quickly go from the bed to another bed. I'm gonna load up my private server right after this. So if we get luck, got lucky and got all three of them spawned. Your pender got what you get now, solo. Let me guess, you got a asylum red dress for like a hundred caps or something. Not enough for that one. I didn't get the box one to drop. Oh, we didn't go enough for any of them. Oh, we got one of them to go. So we'll do like three more, three or four more. We'll get those other two, two dresses and then on uh, the box mod to spawn. You post something on the Discord solo. New vault dweller. Oh, we got a new vault dweller. Hello there. 
welcome. Do, 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 do. Skyline Valley update. Oh, they changed. They updated the. Uh... Yeah, they updated the community calendar post. Oh, I got to get a new hotkey for that. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see if Nuka Knights updated it. Community calendar. Unity calendar. Do, 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 do. I'll do two more. Yeah. Just to be sure. Swamp of suitors, no eviction. Skyline. Okay, we got a new new one. Let's delete this old one. Let's add a new one. All right. Okay. That's actually what we wanted to bookmark. That other one. Oh, go down there. There we go. So we got our new community calendar. Let's do one more while we're looking at this. Uh, let's see what changes they had. It's April 21st now. Legendary vendor sale, double score. Spring cleaning, that all looks the same. Skyline Valley update. There is this. You guys wanted to bookmark that. So no exact date. Just kind of they changed the skyline valley word there. That's about it. Somewhere in there. Got a little bit of time left. Script surplus is coming up in a few weeks. Spring cleaning event. I, I don't know what that one's gonna be. Every one of those ones, what we're gonna have an outfit. You're gonna do little different dailies, outfit related something something. I believe that's what somebody was speculating in the stream the other day. So we got a blue. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna pick up a blue. This guy just never got anything. Got a blue. Oh, still nothing. Anyway, I'm not going to go reset just for one. We're going to wear a blue. That's one of the rares. So for in here, the little trick is pretty simple. When you enter daily ops, once you exit daily ops, it'll put you back to exactly wherever you were when you joined. So if you leave the server from daily ops and join another server, it'll put you right back at that bed inside the Fort Defiance. But on a new server, which definitely speeds up farming the dresses for sure. That outfit is uh, a Braxo Pip Boy paint. The blue? But that doesn't really ring off the tongue. Asylum, a Braxo Pip Boy. <laughs> no. Anywho, we've got Alien Invaders starting in like 10 days, or not less than 10 days. Double score coming up this weekend. That'd be good for anyone that you can save up your, um, what are those things called? The little drinks where you get the double, the increase to score. 
he really farmed the crap out of the stuff that finished the scoreboard that that weekend alien invaders i wonder i hope they have some new stuff this time i don't think so though oh a side note on on the pts i don't know if it was an accident or what but the alien disintegrator weapon i was able to drop it on the pts oh the the, the outfit oh look another blue <laughs> Um, oh, but since I had picked up that blue from the, uh, bed over here, no bet, no, no dress will pop on here for 24 hours until I clear my loot table. A anyway, that was the trick. Let's get over to yonder. Did they add, add them? Oh, yeah, yeah. They said they're going to add it in May. Treasure Hunter's coming up. Um, it just, it's not on here yet. I didn't actually read any of this stuff. I don't know if there's updates on here. But, I don't I typically don't read the actual information on those things. I'm expecting there will be more information coming out. I like to wait until the stuff's confirmed. I don't typically read, check out the data mines and the speculation stuff. But that last post that Bethesda made when they, they messed up the update that they were going to do there did say that they were planning on doing an extra little event on in may instead of fixing the bug i think we're kind of in a wait and see pattern nothing on there yet Anywho, let's keep on going. Where are we at in this quest log? Talk to Paige. Let's go back to Paige. Oh, what's up, A Rude? A Rude Canadian. How's it going? We're having a lazy Sunday. Kind of running around. Checking out some locations. Oops, hoping to get an eviction notice to get this dude leveled up. Our gear up. Keep getting in. I got into a couple. Bunch of new players have started it out. One that I've gotten there in time, but it was me and another little low level guy. So it was a pretty much an immediate fail. If you need to resupply, you should give Sonny a visit. Hell, for that ordeal. You see a free bed in the boarding house, rest up. But now, but now just, hold just hold up your end of the deal and get us that inoculation. All right. Strange belt pedals. All right, we don't need that one on. Receive journal. I think the um, the overseer journal. You have to actually listen to them to tell for them to tell you where you're going. Anyway, we're gonna do single six signal strength, which is. This one, I think. Why can't it pop up on the map? I'm going to go over yonder. Doing good. Doing good, eh, Rude? Nice. 
We need a chance to check Discord. Jeez. 4,000 caps. What? Bloody dude. Nice G roll. Laser Gatling laser. Nice buzz blade. Yeah. Pretty easy to. Pretty easy to trade stuff around and get awesome stuff, finding stuff like that in vendors. Solo's over here getting G rolls for like one one thousandth of what they're actually worth. Like a boss. Can I sneak over here? Eh. And I gotta walk around. Actually, I haven't been paying attention. Have I leveled up? I have not leveled up yet. I think we're okay for now. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta do stuff before she goes. Oh yeah, oh I should have got that thing last. She got that along the way. Well, we're gonna actually we're gonna walk. I think there's some stuff I can discover along the way. All right. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. It's too bad these don't work. Isn't it Fallout 4 where you can actually like look through those? Alright. Uh, no, 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 don't die. Make it, you can make it. Oh, you're full out. You'll be fine. Got a little house over yonder. Away. So what's that called? Skull Ridge Mountain or something something? I forget if you have to go all the way up to the top of the mountain thing to get the thing. The thingy McThane thing. Well, I'm not gonna mess with it now. We can do that another time. You gonna die? Oh, yeah, no, you're you're a beast. You're a beast. Their food all up here. Do 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 do. Popcorn. Mothman omelet. Stuff. Agua.
the scope is way too intense. It makes it hard to aim. Anyway. Don't, don't. Do, 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 do. I think these are. I think we actually got a fast travel. These are kind of far. Luckily, we got the fast travel points along the way. Oh no, we didn't. Close enough though. Why am I still using that gun? That gun sucked. Do that. I change you to that. Or not bloody though. Yeah, screw it. What do you got? Stuff. Actually, we can open up our mutated. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're fast traveling. We open up my mutated packs and see what I got. Let's see, we got some epic G rolls. So, how many of you in the in the chat are playing the game for the first time? And we Oh, that was too long. Oh, all the way. It's weird, it only let me type such a short little sentence. Me never played. Currently level 17. Nice. Alright. Well, we got a little tower up there. Uh, we're going to squirrel it. I think we're going to squirrel it. No, oh, that's... that's wow, that one's far away. Alright, let's just go. Do 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 do. That's what she said. Nice. If I had a jetpack, I could just sneak up there. But we don't. So we are going to go around. But we're full health, so nothing matters. Full health is the easy mode. Don't got to worry about nothing. These dudes mean nothing to me. Shot you in the face. Ooh, we got a perk, perk pack. Uh, where are we going next? We are going to go to yonder. Uh, over here. Alright. 
do 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 This is the way. Bet, bet, bet. All right. Let's get that uh, perk pack open. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Got some stuff. Bubble gum. All right. Campground shirt. That's something. Oops, no. We want to keep you. What do we? What kind of stuff? We actually want to switch the command over here, but we're not going to worry about it just yet. More survivor. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna worry about our perks and stuff later. Now. Nothing, stuff's not really important until you start getting a little bit higher level. Start working on a build later. Now, just as long as you're focusing your points on experience, kind of related stuff, good to go. Just level up as quick as you can. That's a pretty big fall. Can you make it, make it cheat though. Uh, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing for full health dude. Oh yeah, sometimes you talk to these dudes. Sometimes they'll give you like treasure maps or magazines. I think this guy might give you wood. Or nothing. You can always kill him and take his wood though. Or Stimpank. If you want to be a filthy murderer like me. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right. Server hopping with Togo vendors. Best way for Enclave plasma mods. Yeah, Lone Dragon, let me give you a link to guide here. Give you some more information. It'll it'll kind of briefly explain how to get them, show you locations to get get them and stuff like that. Um, there's probably the you can check on YouTube. There's probably great guide, better guides. There's the basic gist of it though. Do 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 do. Um. Extract the thingy, and then we're gonna go over the thingy, thingy, thing, thing, thingy, thingy McBob. How are we doing on our buffs? We need to visit to the house. Well tuned. Oh, we died, so we need to go rest up anyway. And we'll make this at our base. Oh, I don't think we even have a tinkers. I don't have a tinker thing at my base yet. Do, 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 do. I think there's a Tigger's bench in here. There it's not. That's okay. The Tigger bench where we're going. We're just coming to get some XP buff. They're pretty, pretty blue dress. Boo, 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 boo. What is their stream doing? We got one person watching on Twitch. And we got 12 people on YouTube. Thank you again for hanging out and doing the clickies and the likeies and the subscribies. Appreciate you. Was I not paying attention? There it is. What's up, Ozzy's? 
Right, do you get the blue nurse dress in Asylum? Yeah, I actually got two of them. I went in there, got it, and I reset uh, to go over to this server, and the next server had one, too. They're not really that rare. And I got an extra one if you want one. It's all yours. Alright. Uh, we're going to go over to Yonder. Um, 99% sure there's a Tinker event here. How's that pole doing too long? I'm still learning, but know the way. That's my vote in there. Just let me vote on my own poll. There is a Tinker's Bench. Uh, there might even be one in here. Oh, that's where I was thinking of anyway. Yeah. What is the bench that's out here? Oh, it's an armor bench. Let's see how bad this little pistol is. Oh, one shot. Oh, I had a crit saved up then. Chip I one. I've been meaning to join Discord so I can get new giveaways. Yeah. Uh, next week I'm gonna be having a big old bunkers session of raffles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be clearing out my the alt that I've been throwing everything on for the last month and a half or whatever. I'm gonna be giving away the really tasty stuff on my Discord and all of the other knickknack, the bulk of everything basically on Market Seventy Six. That'll be probably Friday-ish. I'm going to start the cleaning process on... After I open up all the mutated packs and this whole mutated week's over with. Um, so we do not get a Tinker's Bench. And I don't worry. Is there a bench in here? I don't think so. Bobblehead, though. Thick. There's bound to be a Tinker's Bench in here somewhere, I think. Do, 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 do. Hey, we got a magazine. Tinker Bench. This is not good. I'm not even gonna try. All right. Oh, Tinker's. There might be one down at the train station. Train station benches are not uniform. Some will have a chemistry, some have a weapon, yada yada. This one has an armor. I don't think there's one in here, is there? Uh, maybe over here at this, uh, whatchamacallit place. Anyway. Well, as they say, when in doubt, just go to the mall. Well... Do, 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 do. You can leave me alone yet or what?
Which is your main character? Um, Mr. Morp. Mr. Morp is who I, I accept friends. Uh, my friends list character. I don't, uh, my other three, especially the little two laptop dudes, I don't have any anyone on the friends list in there. Too confused and trying to fast travel to myself. Um, on the Morpson account, I'll, I temporarily have people on my friends list and I get rid of them. Like every once a week, I'll just I only had people on that one specifically if they're going to be coming to do an event or something and then I get rid of them. I like to have my privates private. Join Discord too? Right on. New vault dweller. I see ya. There you go. Unknown user. Okay, we are doing this thingy. Click. Get rid of all the stuff we got. Weighing us down. Got any random trash in here? Wash. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, anyone else, if you're on PC, you can just add Mr. Morp. My friends list, dude. I don't want to know how many people are on there. Alright. Signal repeater. Let's go. See? That's why we got, we got that along the way there, because we knew we were going to be coming back. It's planning ahead. Boo Do, 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 do. You look silly in this dress, dude. Really bad in that. Here we go. There's every asylum dress picture for you. Anybody have a server bag? Yeah. Well, what you people would call a raider. Killing silly and cheap. Kind of my stick. And don't be your law. Papa don't go to that. There's there's someone in control of this old resort. And if I ever find her, I'm going to wash her mouth out for the first thing and make her spend the soap I can get my hands on. So, oh, see, that's 
Okay. Getting some post air without leaving soul. Yeah, there's if you look on the Discord, somebody was talking about that. Um uh, they have addressed it. Do 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 who knows what goes through their dope responder brain. Anyway, for that torch detector update thing that you're trying to install on the top. Real handy. I know where it is. But yeah. But maybe if you help me out. Let's see if I got the rare thing from back in the day. I got one of them. That used to be worth a lot. And then uh, now it's worth nothing because it's in the mutated packs. My game audio is annoying. Is it still um? It's echoing. Oh. Yeah, I need to get a new mic. I'm using like a really like a five ninety nine little cheap cheap mic. I need to get like a good one with um noise cancellation and stuff. I got a lot of updates to do. It's. I'm not gonna be perfect. Any, I'm not gonna be perfect immediately. Little adjustments as I go. The problem is I can't wear headphones, so the speaker volume is going through the mic, so you're hearing it twice. It's either I turn off the volume and turn off the game audio. Let me turn it down a little bit. So it's kind of either or. Either sounds really bad coming through my mic, or I just gotta turn stuff down. I'm right there on that plan. Yeah. Yeah, my buddy Mityon actually showed me a, a mic that he uses that could fix all that. First day I heard it from you, sound wise. All right. Speak with Rose. Why do you keep telling us keep speaking to her? Two minutes. I'm gonna hopefully get an eviction notice this hour. I have a mic barely. Um, I broke the butt panel connector. Yeah. Yeah, I have a really kind of patched together little kind of ghetto setup right now. But you gotta start somewhere. Kind of kind of going as learning as I go, adjusting things as I can. So. 
don't stress about it being perfect to start. Just gonna little little changes. It's all it's progressing. That's I'm cool with it for now. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so we're gonna get. I, this is gonna be my last little hour of checking. Hopefully, you're gonna get an eviction notice. We're gonna rock that out, and then I am gonna take a break. I wanted to keep these streams kind of kind of short. Like five hours is a good little. Actually, how long is the stream been going? Uh, oh, it's only been three and a half hours. Yeah, four hours is a good little time. Come on, let's get lucky and get one on here. I appreciate the videos. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm having fun making them. All right, part of the note. Let's do the successful eviction notice this hour. All right, laptopy, let's go. Let's get the hunt going. Click, 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 click. Yeah, every time I watch like the big, big YouTubers or Far Gas here and all that, I feel like the amazing, you know, the good production quality. You know, like discouraged. I just gotta tell myself I don't need to be all awesome day one. Here, click. You guys got test your mantle, no. Click, click. What do you got? Oh, no. Come on, eviction notice. Give me some upgrades for everything. That would be awesome. If I do, right. Don't you know? I don't know. No. 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 Guy did measure no. And you crashed. Did you crash? Oh no, my main crashed. Ah, oh, you jerk sauce. How dare you? Come on. Come on. It's not like uh, the game to crash. Oh, wait, it crashes once a day? Oh, okay. Picture notice? No. At least we didn't find one in the meantime. What you guys got? Uranium fever? No. Nope. Under the note. Train jammer, nope. Oh, I think it's gonna be our last chance. We're gonna get in, go into whatever we can get. What do you got? One violent night? Is anybody there? Two people? Explodes on death. Oh, we'll go for it. 
Uranium fever, two people there, sure. Load burn. Oh yeah, that one can't fail. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I'm just gonna join you. Let's go. Oh, I went to the wrong dude. What did this guy have? I sent my health there. Worked for me. A double dip possible there. Loading. Oh, reflective. Lots of new people everywhere. We're going to have some fun. All right, we got seven minutes on that one. We got four minutes on that one. We got four minutes on that one. No double dip. I got some grenades I could throw at least. Man, these guns suck. Oh no! I'll save you. Oh, you're good. Left leg broke. We got a replacement for you. Did you do? We don't. What are you better? What are you better? I'm gonna do that thing. Oh no, you're better. Alright. In the meantime, let's find somebody to raid. Wait, who's streaming right now? Stabby, I'm going to go to Stabby. Stabby for the win. Set that up right now. Any of you guys haven't met Stabby yet. They are awesome. Yeah, bear. We're going to 
months. This will be our raid coming up right after this event. I will post that here, but I will have a redirect going for that. Let's see who's on Twitch. We got nobody's on Twitch. Uh, I don't recognize any of you people. Oh, or let's go to one of the smaller ones. Jackie. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, let's get it's whatever. Thank you for the stream. We're going to raid. I will put that once we're. There's only one person on Twitch for now. Alright. I am very heavy. Very heavy. How are you doing? Got one minute on you. All these guys are. All these events are going to end at the exact same time. Okie dokie. Do 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 Put this over here. Extractors bust. Put Stabby over here. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got one minute. Actually, can we sneak over there? I don't think we'll make it. We can try, though. Oh, this guy can't even bad job. Ah, the world's full anyway. Twenty six seconds. Can you make it? Can you make it? I got one little double dip, maybe. If I can fast travel in fifteen seconds, that is. Do 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 do. All righty. Click over there. Click over there. We're going to go raid. Everyone go over and give some love to, <coughs> to Savvy. I'm going to redirect now. And I'm going to click on the, and on Twitch, we're going to raid Tangent. Click over there. All righty. And we are going to go and over there. click on this. Over there. Where are you? I'm going to go raid. Everyone go over and give some love to, <coughs> to Savvy. Uh oh, you recognize my button. Click on the and on Twitch. We're gonna wait. Give me one second here. And we can stream this. Okay. And stream. All right. Here goes the redirect. Boom. 